Hello everyone, welcome to Bug Me Not podcast. This is episode number two and we are going to talk about imaginary friends. My name is Tatiana and I'm so happy you're here. I got the feeling that this is going to be one of my favorite episodes ever. So what is an imaginary friend? Why did I create one? And how long do imaginary friends last? Well, an imaginary friend is a beautiful creation of your brain and your heart. It can take any color, gender or size. You can create your own from scratch, or you can even mix and match with animals that you already know. An imaginary friend can also look like a person. But when did I create mine? How and why? I believe that I was around three years old when I created my imaginary friends. And I know that because my brother and I, we are three years apart. And at that time, I was the only child. My mom always has so much fun telling this story when she met my imaginary friends. She said there was after lunch and she was doing dishes. At that time, my dad was at work. So just the two of us at home. Suddenly, she heard me talking to somebody. She runs to the bedroom and finds myself on the ground playing with toys. She looks around and nobody's there. Then she looks at me and asks, Tachi, who are you talking to? And in a very pleasant voice, I said, I'm talking to my friend, mommy. You see, that's Katumba. Pilili and Perham. I know, the funniest names ever. Oh boy, it took a moment for my mom to realize that I was having the best tea party ever. Now, let me pause for a second for some very interesting facts. This is happening in Brazil. 1980, and let me tell you, there was no cell phones or internet at that time. So there was no laptop around the house that she could use to do a little search and maybe connect with other moms that are going through the same amazing experience. And in order to share the great news with my dad, she needed to wait whenever he would get home, because remember, there were no cell phones. And at that point, my mom did whatever a great mom would do. She sat on the ground and introduced herself to my friends. And you know what? At that point, I didn't know that my mom could not see them. I'm amazed on how fun she had with us. I remember that Pilili was the funny, silly one. He would always make me laugh. Katumba was the mature one and he would comfort me and give great advices. Perhan was really sweet and she was the brave one. You want to know what they looked like? Well, Perhan was really small and she didn't have an actual form or shape. She was like a bright light that would take different forms depending on my imagination. Katumba looked like a boy, a boy that I never met before. He was always wearing a hat like the old time ones and a button down shirt. It was quite fancy. Sadly, I don't remember how Pilili looked like. Maybe he was a combination of two animals, a bunny and a bear. <laughs> that would be funny. I would take my friends everywhere with me. Car rides, my backyard, parks. We had so many adventures together. It was so nice to have them in my life. I remember one time 
We had a family vacation. We went to the beach. There are five oceans on Earth. Pacific, Indian, Arctic, Antarctica, or Southern, and Atlantic. Brazil faces the Atlantic Ocean. There is different tones of green and blue from the lightest to the darkest and is absolutely gorgeous. We went to a small city in Bahia, Brazil called Itacaré. Oh, I loved that place. So much natural beauty and wild animals. It was amazing. It was summer in Brazil and the beach was filled with families. I was so excited to explore the place and make new friends. You know when you get somewhere and people there already know each other, so there is conversations going on and games being played, and you feel that as much as you try, it's a little hard to make new friends? Well, that happened to me that day. I tried to smile and even share my brand new toys, but the kids didn't want to play with me. So I sat on the white soft sand and I started to play with my imaginary friends. Katumba was helping me to build the most amazing castle. He was so good on thinking outside the box, I was really impressed. Pilili was pretending to be a jellyfish, but he was acting like he was an octopus. He was so funny. Perhan was really focused on the beauty part, so she was looking for the most beautiful shells to decorate our castle. I was having so much fun that the other kids started to pay attention to me. It's so interesting to think about this right now. Whenever I stopped, trying so hard to please the other kids who play their games. And I was just me, having fun and finding happiness in myself. That's when I made new friends. And the ones that liked me the way I am. I have so many sweet memories of my imaginary friends. For me... They lasted until my brother was born and old enough to play with me. I don't see them anymore, but I will never ever forget them because they are part of me. You know something so interesting? My brother never had imaginary friends. What about you? What do you think about imaginary friends? Do you have one? I would love to hear from you. Remember, you can contact me by email bugmenot.podcast at gmail.com or Instagram at bugmenot.podcast. Reflection of the day. Remember, You can close your eyes, or maybe not. You can even do a little dance. Do whatever makes you comfortable. Today, I want to talk to you about what kind of friend do you want around you? Do you want friends that are going to be nice and kind to you? Do you want friends that are going to be loyal and honest with you? Maybe it's really important to you that your friends are going to be funny, clever, and they will make you laugh. Everybody has their own priorities, things that are important to them. You know what's really important to me? I like friends that are nice, kind, and respectful all the time. I don't like that kind of friend that is nice one day and disrespectful the other day. And the kind of friend that you want for yourself is the kind of friend that you need to be for somebody. Think about the kind of friends that you have right now. I hope you feel happy 
and good about yourself when you are around them. And always remember, a good friend, either imaginary or real friend, should never put you in trouble, should never hurt you or make you feel bad about yourself. Believe in yourself and believe that you deserve better. Thank you so much for reflecting with me. I'm so grateful for you. In the next episode, I'm going to talk to you about fear. The different types of fear. What makes me scared and things that help me deal with this feeling. Thank you so much for listening. Be the most beautiful you. You're so loved. I'll see you soon.